Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We've got a story out of Business Insider. It's a really important one because it backs up what we've been talking about for the last couple of years. And that is a 32 year market vet warns that the S&P is set to fall 50 to 70% in the years ahead. And I'm, I'm not joking, I do not believe it's years ahead. I think that we're within about a year and a half max of this uh, downturn happening. But it's a long title. It says, with, val with historic valuations, uh, and says that an immediate weakening of the labor market will be the catalyst for the crash. Now that is absolutely correct. <laughs> when we see unemployment spike, it's because companies are done. They're having to lay people off, they can't sell anything. Well, that's already begun. That doesn't happen overnight. Okay, so in 2023, January, we started seeing uh, the NASDAQ tech companies start hammering their labor force and laying off people left and right. Then we saw the banks laying people off left and right. Then we saw real estate companies being uh, laying people off, uh, mortgage companies, things like that. Now we're seeing quiet firing and trying to piss off people uh, in order to get them just to quit, okay? So we are already in that moment right now where unemployment is rising, okay? We're also seeing the government doing all kinds of crazy things, trying to manipulate the numbers so that the markets, the street, and you do not see unemployment going up, such as multiple uh, people with multiple jobs, they're being counted as multiple jobs. They're not one person employed in three different places. It's three different jobs, okay? So it's, it's a very deceitful thing that's going on. Now, I also wanna remind you, with the S&P so high, people feel super rich. Twice since the year 2000, or let's say since 1999, twice the stock market indexes have been cut in half, destroying people's uh, uh, buying power and their vision or what they believe themselves to be as wealthy. Okay, that turns things into a recession, and ultimately, if it gets bad enough, a depression, physical depression, hits people. Okay, so this is coming. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you believe, if you understand that the markets have been cut down twice in half since the year 1999, and it's spiked this much higher, and it is this much worse, we have the world splitting into two economies. We have um, the dollar being lost as world reserve currency. We have a migration crisis right now, and we have inflation not only all over the country, but all over the world. If you don't believe that that is enough of a catalyst to do this, this is not the channel for you. Now it says here, um, there has seldom been a worse time to invest money in the stock market for the long term, according to John Wolfenbarger. That's because valuations are historically elevated today and over the period of around a decade, they carry significant weight in determining return outcomes. According to Bank of America, valuation levels explain 80% of the market's return over a 10 year period. There are many ways to measure valuation uh, levels in the overall market. Wolf and Banger, uh, Barger, sorry, Wolf and Barger, the founder of investing newsletter bullandbearprofits.com and a former investment banker at JP Morgan and Merrill Lynch cites John Hussman's ratio, ratio of the market cap of all non-financial stocks to the gross value added of those stocks. Hussman says, it's the most accurate indicator of future market returns that he's found. Now, he says, other valuation measures are also hovering at historic high levels. The so-called Warren Buffett indicator, a total uh, market cap to GDP well exceeds dot-com bubble levels. Again, reminding you that Warren Buffett and uh, his company has pulled back and sold so much of their assets that they are now sitting on the largest cash hoard in the history of their company. So it's very easy to see what's happening. Now, how does this play into real estate? It's very simple. Real estate is affected by the wealth effect, right? When people feel wealthy, they will go out and take a little bit more risk. That's when homes get bid up, it's because people are using a little bit more debt and a little bit more risk to buy real estate, okay? When all of that is taken away and they don't have that illusion of wealth or the confidence going forward that they're gonna be able to make that higher payment, that they're gonna get squeezed possibly, they pull back. That is actually what's happening right now. The velocity, the amount of transactions nationwide have fallen off of a cliff. If you're listening to Jim Cramer or Barbara, uh, what's Corcoran or uh, Mr. Wonderful or Dave Ramsey, I want you to understand something. Every single one of them, they their, their income hinges on the fact that you are buying and selling or, or selling a home. That's it. So when they're cheerleading, they are begging you to please use their affiliate links. This is how it works. 
That is why I want to educate the nations on what happens during real estate cycles, on during downturns, and you can make a ton of money when you hold off a little bit and then accelerate. When you have your credit score set up, you're out of debt or low debt, and you have income coming in so you can charge forward and use debt to make tons of money, but again, in an entity like an LLC, letting the LLC take the money out, the loans out, and you manage it. That's how you do it. That's how you become extremely wealthy. Not no one of those four people that I just mentioned will tell you how to do that. Why? Because it doesn't sell to the masses. It does take a little bit extra work, but it protects you and your family's security. Now he says, while this sounds like a doomsday call, it is important to remember that these kinds of scenarios have in fact played out in recent decades. Stock took two years to bottom when they crashed almost 50% after the dot-com bubble. They took a year and a half from peak to trough in the great financial crisis. And nine years following the dot-com bubble peak in 2000s, the S&P was still down 50%. So he says here, why will stocks crash? Valuations by themselves aren't typically good, a good enough catalyst for a stock market sell-off. Another look at the Bank of America chart, um, they show a chart above, um, shows the matter very little in the short term. A sufficient catalyst, Wolfenbarger said, is a weakening in the labor market and subsequent recession, which he believes is about to unfold. So this is absolutely not rocket science. Okay, when people lose their job, they have less money to spend to the economy, which means companies have less crap to sell or services to sell you, so they lay people off and it exacerbates the problem. It just gets worse and worse, or a snowball effect down the hill, whatever way you wanna put it. So here's the thing, real estate's already turning down. We're down almost 8% nationally, nationally since 2022 on the median home price and the average home price, okay? So there we go, we're already moving down. So I don't know what, it, what you need other than that to tell you to get ready because this can be an epic crash. I'm getting ready. I hope you are too. That being said, the Real Estate Ninja is out. <laughs>